I think we all know what's going on in these videos, Meryl. But either way, Voice Me is hosting a contest where you can win money. And recognition, obviously, like, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a series contest, bro. You know, you, you, you understand. But either way, uh, I'm checking out a couple series. We've got four series today. And I'm going to be checking out the first chapters and seeing if they're good or not. Like, that, that, that's really it, bro. And obviously, uh, per usual, everybody that I will be checking out today will be linked down below in the description. Their, their Instagrams and their series will be down there. So make sure to go check that out. Obviously, like the other past two videos, there are chapters in the video. So if you want to go specifically to a series that, that you're looking for, or, you know, they're there. You, you you get it. But either way, let's go check out these series and, you know, have, have some fun, bro. You know, either, you know, praise some series, criticize some series. We just get right into it. First up is Dawn of the Abyss by Felix uh, Paji. You got you got two names listed on your your Instagram, so I don't know which one to call you specifically. I'll do Felix because it's, like, it's easier to pronounce, I think. But either way, she'll be linked down below in the description. If you want to go check your stuff out. There is also four chapters, so I'll be only doing the first chapter. And, you know, talking about the first chapter in these. So... You want to read more after I, you know, finish up with, the, with chapter one. It's down there. Anyways, let's stop wasting time and read. Damn. First panel and it's a whip. Whipping that shit. Okay. Cloaked in shadow. That night. You got the pack. The alpha pack. A voice told me to run. So is this like, is this like a flashback of when she was a furry or something <laughs> and the animals took her seriously? <laughs> I'm joking. To never stop. Or is this like, you know, at, happening currently at the same time where she or whatever this thing is, oh, is running away from a pack of wolves that, that, you know, I don't, I don't know what, what's going on is all happening at the same time as it's like this person dr driving down the road i'm assuming so mm. fear was the only thing i felt but then a voice don't fall we got owl man you know the one that was like you know the evil version of batman that was like actually beating the fuck out of batman that one time <laughs> y'all remember that like the it was like the uh fuck I forgot what they're um what they're called well it's like with Ultraman and like the the bad guy equivalents of like the Justice League I forgot what their name was but y'all understand it's Owl Man I thought it was my father's voice but stranger danger stranger danger oh, no. don't you think it's too soon to give up stand it wasn't. I'm in danger looking at <laughs> So it's either stranger in front of you or the the literal hounds behind you. <laughs> now tell me what is your name? Hey bro, bro he's pulling up the swing though. I don't, you know. Okay, it's also possible this winged being person is also the same person in the in the car bro and getting driven around drove around and shit it's a possibility that's the same person so yeah he, this motherfucker slaughtered whatever uh creatures these are i'm assuming they're just wolves though let's be honest i'm assuming they're just wolves my name is okay wait, let's get let's guess a name before we um get to the name reveal um hmm. If it's like a guy and and it's like a furry. Hmm, what's like a furry name? I think I think more like furry names would be like unisex names like Taylor, Alex, or like Sam or something. Those are those are like some usual like furry names cuz they're unisex. Uh, let's go with Sam. 
So for you, it's like that, that, that's both my answer. <laughs> there you go. That's both my answers. Or it's like some fucking genuine like, uh, part, like some some insane animal name or something. That's my pet name. Looking at. It. I am not. I am. I'm making fun of furries, bro. Like, uh, I, I'm not gonna lie. I've, I've been making fun of her. I was gonna say I'm not making. Fun. No, I'm, I am. I am. Crash, not the crash. Stop the whip. Reaching halt. What uh, what's going on? What happened? Forgot the ED. Forgot the education. Also, uh, there you go. I just realized that we like might have been missing out on like you know the extra inch of panel on uh the sides because I was I was zoomed in too far. Well, either way. You forgot the education at the end of the, uh, happen. Stay by the car. It's nice to see you again. Stain. Stain. Is it, like, Stain from, like, My Hero? Or, like, who is it? I mean, I don't know. But it's Owl Man. Is he, is he coming back as an op? Or, like, I think he's coming back as an op. Like, look at him, bro. Look at him. He, 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 he decided it would be a good idea to stand in the middle of the road just to talk to you. Yeah, he's an up. He's an up. This ain't no friend of yours. At least now. This motherfucker is here for the action, bro. Or to hear your answer or hear an answer to some question he has. It's, it's one of the, one of the two. He, he either here to run them hands, right? Or he hear what you have to say to a question he has. Only two options. I'm going to keep saying it. It's true. Look at how he stanced. And where he is stanced. He is stanced in the road. Basically ready to squabble, bro. Come on. Black. I just realized I just, I just slapped the sentence with black. I mean, yeah, yeah. He dark gray. Uh, 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 Aconite, Arcanine for Pokemon. I, I've, I, I, I it's funny because I make Pokemon jokes and I've never, <laughs> I've never played Pokemon, <laughs> or I haven't finished Pokemon, bro. Because obviously I played like Go, and you know, I have like two videos on Red, like a uh, Fire Red, and I got pissed off and then I stopped playing. <laughs> Executive member, so. He's part of the VIP club. Uh, hello, my dear. What do you want? Lannister. Oh, wait. He's the bodyguard outside the whip. No lie. I, I, I was I was like, okay. I was I thought he was the op. No, he is the dude protecting shawty. shawty? I, I'm assuming it's a girl. I'm assuming this is a girl. At least like, you know, it seems like it probably is a girl. Do person by the car. Ah. So this is the op. Yeah, he, he is for sure here for the basically tra transition all my you know comments about Owl Man, the the Batman uh, variant to this guy because this dude is the same thing. <laughs> he basically again. Who's standing in the middle of the road to talk to somebody normally, bro? He not your friend. Did I miss a text? Uh, his name is Lannister. Yeah, his name. Yeah, if he got a fucking, if he got a Game of Thrones name, yeah, he's an op. He he is a Game of Thrones name. That means he is either an op or he touches his uh, siblings. Huh? I I don't I don't know. I haven't watched Game of Thrones. Uh, outside of like the first like episode and that's like some of the first episode because I stopped watching after there was incest so <laughs> Oh nothing much just wanted to see how you guys are doing that is a fucking lie and if you believe him well That's just your fault bro if you if you get jumped if you get if, if anything bad happens to you bro you're you're that's your fault sorry You know I can't even say just drive away because like he's gonna let that happen. <laughs> the pit. Damn, he immediately went for the up. Wait. 
I thought like uh, he he went. No, no, he uh he cut himself. Okay, so he's emo. If you intend to take her, then I suggest you forget about it. Forget about it. What do you mean? So okay, so I was oh, right. They were both here for the smoke. I just came here to say. Damn, he pull up on him. Fucking hollow red, bro. Now he about to combine that shit with blue and make hollow purple, bro. Oh, no. Yo, he, he's going to hollow purple him like <laughs> up close. Point blank, bro. No way. Hi. No, I really hit him with the Gojo. Oh, it's over. <laughs> it's over. Yo, he got the Donzo Sharingan eyes in his in his arm, bro. Damn. Dude just got blitz and dumpstered, bro. Yeah, we got the blick out. Man, you are tough. Honestly. It was out of curiosity. I heard you left the organization to try. I heard you left the organization to train a certain girl in. Just had to see. After all, you are to put your life on the line if something goes wrong. Yeah. Boss's orders. Am I right? So did like did he like harden himself? Pause. Uh let's not let's act like I didn't say that. So he crystallized it, the part of his body where he the impact was gonna happen. All that to avoid saying it was hard. Ah, <laughs> uh, whatever. Can a person like you really protect someone? Let me guess. You work for the Eclipse Order. Now. Perhaps. Shall I be the one to test if you are deemed fit for the role? Yeah, we got the Black Saber from Star Wars now. Okay. This dude just got everything. He, 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 Gojo... He's like the the leader of the uh the Ma the Mandalor no he's not the, the Mandalorian different he, he he's like the 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 guys with the black saber in Star Wars I don't know who it is if you fail then I get the greeter yeah I'll take that as a yes as he you know ran up on him so is he gonna is he gonna win I need to help stay. Let the beast out, bro. <laughs> it's <laughs> dude. She letting they letting the beast out, bro. I can't control the beast inside, bro. I can slash his limb. Wait, she's the one with the big fifty caliber. Why? I might be able to limit his movement. I'm trying to see what this is down here. Is it somebody like driving straight at at them, or at like you know this motherfucker <laughs> with the blicky out? Because like that obviously this right here is their car, right? I'm assuming this in the back is another car because the lights from this car on the left wouldn't be this crazy intensive, right? If it was like, cause we're standing from like the side of the car, it should be like more of like, like curved light. But now nah, that one's just straight on, bro. He, or stained to attack. Okay, I guess not. Damn it! Like we 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 just we just start off, bro, and then motherfuckers start boxing. Okay, I, I'm taking I'm taking too long. I gotta keep going. I I, I got like three other series to do in this. Okay, he punched the ground, cracked that shit. Weaved the sword, the punch. Weaved it, though. Oh, he got stabbed in, uh, in return? Damn. Maybe this, uh, maybe it's Gojover after all, but he he came back with the kick, though. That sent that man flying. Okay, they're about to, to pull the trigger on him. Bang! Took out Gojo's leg. No, he he grazed it. Infinity ain't gonna save you now, nigga. 
Oh no. Someone about to get involved. Hey now. What was that? You prepared your stance only to miss your shot? Oh yeah. She, they did done miss, yeah. So yeah, she really she, they really had all that time. Lined up that shot and fucking missed, bro. I, I'm not gonna act like, you know. I'm not gonna call her shit because, you know, I've performed worse on Rainbow Six Siege. So let's keep it a push. Oh shit. He's hot. Why target my leg when you could have gone for the head? You were afraid. I buried 50 cal. That could break it, you know. Is that why you hide away in the darkness or was it revenge? Is this your decision or was that someone else's? If you keep going like this, then your life will never be able to change and you'll spend the rest of your life trapped in the dark. I can't move my body. Is it because he's hot? <laughs> Would it take uh, would it take? Wait, wait, damn! I can't fucking read. Would you take it if I can give you an option? I could tell you everything about that night. Night she was uh running for her life. That very night you ran from terror. That night when you left your family behind to save yourself. If you think I'm going with you, then get lost. Oh, I know. Don't worry. It won't be today. But the day will come when you s are come seeking the answer from me. Yeah, I... I, I yeah. <laughs> I went around that really bad. Will be the day. You'll struggle to say your name. Damn. You got the crystal attack. So, obviously... Are you okay? Look... Struggle to say my name? What a joke. My name is Lucina Pleiades. Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Why else? No, I'm, I'm definitely not the first person to read, I think. Not on voice me, anyways. But, uh, okay. Intriguing. Also, I took 16 minutes to read that. God damn. Eh, whatever. Anyway, um, intriguing for replot. Going down here. Also, your dragon looked like this person, so I'm assuming this is like a, a self-insert Felix. You a furry? You dress up in shit? You dress up in... <laughs> nah, I'm joking. This is pretty interesting so far. I... Can't really tell what's going on. Obviously, you know, it, it, it hits the, uh, yeah. It's in action. And shit's gonna go crazy. Vibes. So, it's not, it's not, it's not, you know, like. It, it doesn't seem like it's going to be, like, super duper mind melty or, you know. It's, it's not gonna make you question everything you think about a series or whatever, right? It, it seems like it's going to just be an interesting action series. With some, with some lore, with some black, with some backstory, not black story. What? Uh, yeah. But anyways, make sure to check out Felix down below. She will be there along with her series. Like I said before, there are more chapters. You can check out yourself. And I might check out, maybe. Anyways, let's go on to the next series. All right, Pyro Comics. We're going to see what you got with White Rose. You know, he got, as far as I'm aware, two series currently in the competition. Uh, first one is White Rose, and, and the next one is uh, When We Met, or, or something along those lines. But uh, I will be doing White Rose in this one, and that, the other one in another video. Because, you know, I feel like we might as well spread them out. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's check out what this is about. This is also a comic, so it's read left to right. Oh yeah. Anyways, this is also the prologue, and it and from what I'm seeing, this is like the this is 2.0 of the the White Rose 
iteration. So this is like the evolved form of his original form. So this is Super Saiyan 2. Okay. Okay. Let's see it. Let's see it. Down below. Description. You see it. Anyways. Book 1. Okay, chapter 0 is long ago. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. There is only one ch <laughs> the, the chapter 0. <clears throat> the Divine Garden. <coughs> long ago, God created the world as well as the human race. Cool. We're religious now. Uh, he gave humans reign over a divine garden. Their only job was to nurture the land and follow his word. However... Humanity began to disobey God, partaking in sin and slowly destroying the divine garden. Oh yeah, typical humanity behavior. We fuck shit up. Oh yeah. <laughs> typical of the human race. Thus, God banished humans and forever hid the garden in an endless desert. Even so, he left a piece of land untouched by the sand, a piece for humanity. In the hope they would change. Exodus of humanity and the creation of the endless desert. Okay, so Pyro's going like... Ooh! Biblical! <laughs> Biblical religion. Yeah. I'm not really a... I'm like... I'm like a... Like, yeah, I'd, I'd probably call myself an atheist. Yeah. So, I mean, it's more like... I just don't, I just, I don't know. I'm just like, whatever, on, on religion. I probably isn't in, a, in an atheist. Because I, it's not like I, you know, disprove, like, I, I disagree. But it's more like, I just don't see it, you know? I just don't see the vision that y'all got, you know? I don't, I, not yet, at least. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to have, like, a life-altering, you know, situation. Then maybe I'll see God. I don't fucking know. Anyways. His wishes did not come to fruition. Humanity built upon his land, worshipping false prophets, slowly forgetting his name, as well as becoming more greedy and sinful. King Henry the Great and Queen Mary the First, the birth of Rose Kingdom. <clears throat> God sent down his final verdict, and those who followed his word would, af would yeah, after death have their souls sent to the garden. The sinful, however, would have their souls forever wander the world, never to find peace. God ascending the soul of a believer. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> the souls of the sinful could not rest, feeding on anger and sadness, slowly materializing and turning into bloodthirsty demons by the will of God's dark counterpart. The demons started attacking humanity, bringing it to the brink of extinction. A demon formed under the moonlight. Mm. I'm also, f I'm also like, you know, digging like the designs here. Cause it's like, it really is just like heavy into the religion, bro. It's, it's shit. I don't really, you know, cover much. Cause I'm not really a religious person. Like, that's really it. Like, I don't mind covering religious, like, biblical type shit. It's just that, like, I, I'm just not, I, I just don't see the vision yet. So, yeah, that's really it. Not that I'm going to shit on you for believing in it. I just don't really, I don't see, I just don't see it. Sorry. Sorry, are you, are you God-fearing individuals that might be in my comments right now shitting on me. Um, it happens, bro. I don't know. Humanity decide to f decided to fight back, following the example of a brave hero who found only uh, found the only way to kill demons, and by doing so, became known as the first knight playing a demon. Okay. And so, the Knights of the White Rose were formed to protect the fate of humanity. <clears throat> I will devote my life. So as to ensure the prosperity of this kingdom and humanity. Knight's Oath. Press of the White Rose. Knight's Order. Alright, we're in the shack. When I grow up, I'll become a knight. Just like you were, Grandpa. Is that so? 
First, you must re wait. Yeah, left to right. No, yeah, left to right. Mm -hmm. First, you must realize that the life of a knight is dangerous, as you put your life on the line every day. I know I should be turning you away from pursuing it. However, I know that nothing could have stopped me from being from doing what I loved. Who knows? You might end up even outranking me. But a good knight needs his rest. I'll become the best knight ever and make my little brother and you proud. Oh, I know you will, son. Or grandson. Yeah. There's a motherfucker outside. Hey, Grandpa. Is the what? Is the giant rose on top of the Capitol Hill real? It sure is. I'll take the two of you to see it when you're older. Get my fuck outside. Well, brave knight, I'm sure you won't mind if I put out the candle. Knock, knock. Oh no, who could it be? Johnny. <laughs> but all right. Soonish, yeah. I don't even know when you dropped this chapter, but like either way. Wait, wait. Oh, it, oh, two days ago. Like is like the first comment I see in it. So like maybe it's not that old. I don't know. But either way, intriguing premise. I don't know how like heavily invested I will be into it because obviously I'm not really super religious. But again, but then again, then again, then again, it it doesn't have to be like a religious series. Or, or at least, at least that's just like the lore of the series. And then there's obviously what happens around the main character. So I'm not going to say this is a fully religious series. I'm saying at least the, the, um, the, at least the beginning was with the, how, uh, he, uh, structured the the events prior to what is happening what is going to happen now with the uh, knock knock on the door huh so maybe let me know what y'all think about this one down below i love to hear thoughts and opinions anyways pyro will be li linked down below in the description if you want to go check him out as well as his series for when he possibly drops a new chapter because you know soonish anyways on to the next one all right this one I needed the pronunciation from the creator of the series, Jake. It is pronounced Hun Gorot. I am not saying that every time. <laughs> it's going to be Hung Gorat, bro. I don't care. Hung, Hung, like Hung Gorat, bro. Yeah, because that sounds funny. <laughs> but guys, watch out for you, uh, you youngins out there, bro. This one contains graphic depictions of violence, gore, and has strong language and dark themes overall. Watch out. We also read this left to right. All right. <clears throat> oh my God. Sir, do you need help? Get that cat, cat, that thing. It was, it was eating us. Police, EMTs, and the... Hongora <laughs> extermination committee. So this is like nasty things eating people. Quickly arrived at to the gruesome scene in the middle of the night. Put your hands up. What they found was be comparable to the bloodbath left behind by the infamous Bazo. Y'all really getting tormented by a nigga named Bazo? Or you know, y'all really, y'all really let this like. Not gonna lie, you should have let you should have let that nigga the Bazo like fall the fucking shame. But like what, Bazo? Y'all should just made fun of his name. Like you know, all these like serial killers and you know motherfuckers like that. They just want the attention. So like the more we put attention on them, after especially after we catch them or after they die, that's what they want. So, which, like, we should stop calling the motherfuckers, like, the Night Stalker or, you know, Jack the Ripper. I mean, Jack the Ripper is kind of hard, though. I'm not going to lie. But, you know, shit like that. We should just call them, like, uh, it's for Jack the Ripper, it's Jack the Tickler. <laughs> like, you got to give them such an unserious 
stupid name. And maybe like we gotta be given these serial killer serial killers them hurricane names, bro. Like we gotta stop doing the like the watcher the night crawler like we, we gotta stop doing that bro also night crawler i know that's an x-men character uh relax i meant the nice soccer shut up anyways give him like infamous bazo how about you call him the infamous fucking bozo bro how about that and a kong or <laughs> king kong or at wasn't even responsible for this the perpetrator a cannibal Eww, you nasty ass bitch. No way we following a cannibal, bro. Red handed. Damn. Ada Wong? County Courthouse. Idaho. Of course it's fucking Idaho, bro. Potato ass niggas, bro. February 12, 1995. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, today we face a man who has committed unspeakable acts. Unra Trago stands accused of seven counts of murder and eight counts human consumption. Yo, this is like, this is like, you know, uh, the like unsolved murder serial killer things like that, that like women watch that are like stabbed 12 times in the eye. He was, he had his eyes and scooped out and eaten by the perpetrator or some shit like that. It's, it's always some dumb, weird shit that goes on. And these motherfuckers eat that shit up uh, figuratively. Specifically women. I present you now with the chilling details of his crimes. Ooh. Nine days ago, Hunra. Okay sedated and abducted eight men including his employer whom he presumably knew through work ties at his home he consumed various body parts of these victims yeah again this is just like this is just like like fucking x files not x files maybe like unsolved case files or some shit bro it always is like this bro also Maybe you're just Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> maybe you're just Jeffrey Dahmer, buddy. Maybe, maybe this is a Dahmer wannabe, bro. The guy, uh, the guy, the one victim that escaped who asked to remain anonymous had had his hand and part of his face eaten by this man. Damn, this man is a fucking messy eater, bro. He was discovered by a jogger who regularly runs that night time, uh, night named... Mm. Clearly guilty. Like a monster. No warrants. Blah, 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 blah. This is all so boring. Then get up and say, I did it. I did it. Man, I've had enough of this shit. I did it. Okay, I'm, I ate that person. This is all so boring. And therefore, there's no, there's not enough proper evidence to claim Mr. Trago is fully guilty of the crime. not guilty of the crime <laughs> you're guilty at least of one of the crimes it's like you're at least guilty of this person here bare minimum so you're going you're going to jail for a, a decent amount of time there there is no there is no doubt about it you was eating this nigga I pause not his booty but his body uh that didn't even sound any better <laughs> all right all right all right all right all right and rather we can assume an unfound Kongorad was involved as well I now rest my case thank you for being a fucking dumbass of course we don't believe you and now on to hmm Hunra, would you like to make a statement? No, my client will pass. Yeah, I want to say, I want to make a statement. Please stand. Hunra, don't. Yeah, this fella ain't getting me nowhere. I can win this case on my own. Is winning going to jail for him? 
Wait, maybe, you know, maybe actually we should put him in jail. Like, we all know he's a cannibal. So, possibly, hypothetically, let's not put him in a regular jail. Don't put him in, like, the raft from Spider-Man. Let's put him in a secluded prison cell dangling over the ocean, bro, or some shit like that, bro. Let's keep him isolated. Because clearly he's a fucking problem. Also, I just I just realized that maybe uh the the um the this the title, right? Hungorat maybe I, I like is like like three different things, obviously. Hungorat could be he hungry. Like this is because this is my pronu like as in like my pronunciation of the of, of the thing like hung Gorat, so he's a hungry Gorat. I don't know what a Gorat means, but uh, he's hungry. Or it can mean Hunra because his name's Hunra, and that could be the H U N. Wait, that that would give more fucking cr uh, credit to like, that would give more credit to his fucking pronunciation so it's actually hungorat i retract my earlier statement of saying that is anything other than what i what i said it was initially that he was just a hungry gorat anyway <laughs> i'm not sorry jake all right <clears throat> yeah all right let's see what he has to say please you're a hunter hurry know that i feel the gravity of the charges against me however I must insist that I can possibly, I cannot possibly be guilty of the, any of the crimes of human consumption, nigga. Literally had. There's no way I could word that. That is sounded good, bro. You had his meat in your mouth. <laughs> no, bro. Okay. Huh? Yeah, right. Bullshit. I agree with everybody here. Order in the court. Explain yourself, Hunter. You see your honor. I didn't consume these victims. I pooped them. Yeah. I ate them. Pooped them. Yeah. The police arrived before I got the opportunity to finish. The act remains incomplete, and so those charges of human consumption are not applicable. What? I mean... I mean... Technically, if this judge was an idiot, he'd run with that. Because, like, has anyone checked his stomach contents? I mean, can you only do that if you're... I don't know. I, I don't really know all the... How, how you would check a nigga's stomach contents if he's alive. Or, like, how would you even be able to determine if someone ate another human like like how, how like is there like a um a specific like thing that happened to the body that you that, that can you know determine you as a cannibal or do, do you just get out as a cannibal because you're a cannibal i'm confused damn he really he really just sat down after he really thought he was like him after dropping this dumbass fucking uh uh fucking le uh, loophole bro this like this dumbass statement here. He, like like he really thought he was him. He really sat down with the fucking he thought he had aura here, in an attempt to merely lessen his charges. Hunra mistakenly confessed his crime, beyond debate. Yeah, exactly. He really he really thought he really thought he was on something there, bro. He really thought he was on to something <laughs> there, dude. Okay, let me keep reading them. Oh yeah, eleven minutes. And as Hunra finished speaking, a silence fell over the crowd. So I did. Oh, I was going to do it. But I didn't eat nobody. Not yet. Like, well, yeah, it's how fucking funny, bro. Eventually, the onlookers op opinion of uh, on Hunra was unanimous. Guilty! And with the power bestowed upon me to uphold justice, Hunra Trago, your sentence, your sentencing shall be capital punishment. Court adjourned. Dumbass. Dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker really thought he was him, bro. The KEC International Headquarters, two days later. Agent Conver, 
Here's the file uh, on another death row convict in Idaho. Damn. Thank you. You'll like this one. Apparently, they thought this guy was a Congorette. Called out KEC officers and everything. Just to find out the guy's just a fucking cannibal. Hmm. Freaky, huh? Oh, well. Do what you like. Hang on. This man, Hunter Trago. He's actually a cannibal? Yep. I heard he ate like seven people. Why? <laughs> the nigga's smiling, bro. Hmm. I think he'll be a very, a very valuable subject. Bring Hunter out here as soon as possible. <laughs> I knew it. Sure thing, boss. Next day, they brought him in. Ouch. Easy, easy. I ain't going anywhere. We don't care. We don't care, bro. I'm not getting a single nibble. Bastard. Shut up. Hello there, ma'am. You look like someone of authority. Are you here in charge? Are you in charge around here? Baddest smile on his face. Yes, I am. KEC Agent Conver. Great. So, why am I here, Agent? None of your little buddies will tell me squat. <laughs> I'm getting executed here, right? <laughs> no. You're being used as the test subject, Hunra Trago. Your rights have been forfeited due to your crimes, and you have no family to miss you on record. So, we're permitted to use you as this way. Any way that we like. Huh? Ouch. Come on, stop yanking my leg. Feels like I'm getting strapped into an electric chair. It's no electric chair. But this process will be very, very painful. Your whole body is going to go through a sort of metamorphosis. What? I, I didn't agree to this. Ma'am, can we please postpone? Not happening. The preparations are complete. Uh, what, uh, what concentration? Full. Let's get started right away. Yes, ma'am. Wait, wait, wait. Hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's... And then he get hit. Man's getting destroyed. After 46 minutes, Unra passed out, out, out due to the pain. However, his body continued its process. Five hours after the experiment started, Unra awoke. Uh, what? Good morning. The experiment is done. Your transformation is complete. Transformation? What, what happened to me? Behold your new form. Welcome to be uh, the beginning of your existence as a Congorette. Interesting. Interesting. Intriguing. Intriguing. This was definitely an interesting uh, uh, series start. Yeah. I was really blanking on what the fuck I was trying to say. But anyways... Uh, I'm curious to see how this would go. He has another chapter. So if you want to go check it out, see how it goes. See if it, see if it goes good or goes bad. Let me know. I might check it out myself. Maybe. But anyways, if you want to check out Jake and this series, it'll be linked out below in the description. Anyways, he ate his body, not his ass. Brother. I, I I didn't even have a chance to like you know say nothing yet, and this man's dead, or he he's getting he's getting penetrated really hard. Pause. Yeah, we're starting off like that. Anyways, we're checking out. Uh, we're checking out West Omni. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Either way, this is made by Arch Astra, who will be linked out below in the description as well of his. As well as his series, their series. They got a couple of chapters that uh, I will not be checking out as of today. That you can go check out yourself after this video. But anyways. Uh, yeah, motherfucker, probably dead. But also, I will say immediately that I th that the art is really good. The, like, you could tell the art is really fucking good immediately. I don't know if he's if the, the consistency is going to hold up, but like at least this right here, this initial panel is fucking crazy, bro. Anyways, we'll find out what happens. Okay, so he got 
Uh, he got his brain penetrated, but he can still do stuff. So he grabbed this motherfucker by the forehead and then slammed him into a wall. And it just walked it off, okay? The Sovereign are not doing their job. There are fiends in the city. When? What in this robot? Okay. This is the standard here. I'm just going to talk in some, like, fucking robotic voice because that's how I'm feeling this whole situation. Like, all these people are. Caitlin? Or Kaylin. Kaylin, my bad. A Caitlin's, like, you know, the usual name that when, it when it's, like, K. Because whatever. And we got Ulrike. Ulrika? Ulrike? An interesting name. We are close to the... <laughs> uh, miasmic border. Powerful sovereigns have moved uh move into the central worlds not outward asmodeus okay so they get to rule but not provide the protection as promised yes it's not fair but when like i i can't i can't keep up with this like yes it's not fair i can't keep up with that bro it's, it's but you, you you know what i'm going for very robotic who are you talk to You could leave it up to robot speech. Or we could change this sentence specifically to make it sound better. Who are you talk? Who are you? Okay, never mind. That was just me being a fucking dumbass. So, uh, retract my statements. I never said what you thought I said. Uh, you were already typing a comment? Uh, go fuck yourself. Um,. Who are you to talk? You don't help others yourself. I'm not causing trouble for anyone. Is that not enough? You are a waste of a sovereign. Think about all of the people you could save with your abilities. Why do I need to save people? How about people save themselves? Because not everyone can. Children, how many times must you have the same argument? Please don't fight. I uh, nobody here is a real person. No, none of these four people are real individuals. The caliber, caliber, Calib Caleb, Calibra, Calibrie. What is that word, bro? Calib, Calibra, <laughs> are beings that uh, adopt the form of other species. Ah. In return for ex, uh, ex acceptance, I'm so fucking dog shit right now. Holy shit! The the Calibre helped their base species survive and proliferate through the dangers of the Omni Stream. Be it the miasma that enters their civilization, beasts that live among us, natural disasters, or other Calibre. Civilization has a Z in it. Get it right? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> the only one I'll complain about civilization not being spelled right with the Z is Fay Comics. Uh Arch Astra, you're you're good. I won't um I won't I won't I won't like, you know, uh shit on you for that because you're not Fay. Calibre integrate different differently depending on their basis. For the Hominin Calibre, they demand the right to rule as sovereign. Calibre that pass the sovereign exam are assigned a world at the edge of, the, of our civilization. Most sovereigns then compete to extend their influence inward towards central clusters where there are, where there is opportunity and prestige. Interesting. Hmm. We, however, are planning to move outward, away from the Calibrian system, or so society. Same fucking thing, pretty much. Because what we want to create is not a great empire or a powerful state, but a place we can call home. Wind serve. Yeah, you you doing human things is not going to make me think y'all are humans, bro. Nice save, Caitlin. Is this like... Fucking Ben 10's like, you know, big ball form or whatever. I forgot what the 
what the motherfucker is called, but like that's like the big ball alien. Or the big alien that could turn into a ball and is like bounce around and shit. Watch Asmodeus. Wind has a pattern. Alright, sh shut up. Stop fucking snitching. That giant bird almost gave me a turd shower. Yeah, none of these people are human. <laughs> none of these people are none of these people are not robots, bro. You need it. Why don't we fly there together or directly? There are no ports uh, at where we're headed. We'll have to use the portals left by the pioneers. It should be somewhere in this area. Here. Ah, what's that? Put that away, Win. Power technology is not allowed here. They banned games? That's so dumb. Oh, I'm guessing this is just all of them trying to like, you know, find a new place to live at, I guess. Why do we have to land in a war zone? Don't you participate? I don't know, I'm just very confused on what's going on. Also, is that Godzilla? I don't think that's Godzilla. That's a nasty bunny with a fucking mustache. How much further? Come on, slacker. That's the ugliest rabbit ever. I've got to show it to Asmodeus. Come here. Found it. Great job. Let's get going. Did they leave him? Oh, shit, they left him. Where's when? Uh, wasn't he waiting in the ship? Ah, bugger. This world sure is desolate. Is that a guiding tree? Yeah, I'll check it out. Okay, someone's here. <clears throat> Harvesting the environment's quintess uh, quintessence. Quintessence? Jesus. That explains the landscape. Please stop, sir. We ha uh, He was only having a short rest. Damn, murdered him? A rest. You don't need rest. <laughs> we Calibre. Ca Calibre. Yeah, that's how I'm, that's, I'm just going to go with Calibre, bro. And keep running on quint uh, Quintessence alone. There is no need to rest. You will bring me Quintessence. Or I will take yours. Yes, sir. Yes. Have you forgotten your purpose? Yes, sir. Every moment of your existence must be dedicated. Yes, sir. Wow, he's intense. I'll look elsewhere. You there. Fuck. Who are you? Okay. I will say. My, uh, my, uh, my one complaint is that it's a... Or my, 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 like, couple of that's, like, mini critiques. I got, I got a couple of them. Is that, like, um... I feel like the, the pacing is awkward as fuck. Like, I'm rather confused on what the fuck you're trying to, uh, do here. And, uh, you know, what you're trying to, uh, explain. Like, I kind of get it, but, like, it is a rather difficult, you know, to fully, like, ca like, encapsulate what you're trying to tell me with this specifically. Like, you're, like, it's not like it's not hooking me, because, like, I'm interested, I'm interested, especially in, like, the art, but, like, it's more like I'm not interested in what you're trying to tell me. I'm interested in what you're showing me, like, art-wise. Arch Astra, if you, if you understand what I'm saying, because it's like, since I'm so confused by the plot, I'd rather just, like, look at it than, like, learn about it. Maybe we should try to work on how you pace your series, but I mean, I don't know if this is probably your first series, or maybe your second series. One of, one of your fewer... One of, like, the very beginning of your series. So, clearly, it's, uh... We gotta learn this stuff. <laughs> um... Uh, uh, the pacing's a little weird. Uh, the story's not really, like, you know, coming through fully. I'm, I'm, I believe you're trying to tell, but maybe it's, like, you know, next chapter solves that. But at least in the first chapter. If we're basing this off the first chapter, you only had the first chapter available. Not all three. Or all these three. But you only had the first chapter, and everyone's trying to, like, you know, determine whether or not they, they like the series. Some might not enjoy it because of how, like, you know weirdly paced it is and weird weird how it like you know 
goes about how it's telling what it's trying to tell, it might it might be a problem for some people. Now, I don't mind because I read a lot of wacky ass series every day, so it doesn't really matter to me. But like, I'm informing you. Anyways, let me know what y'all think about uh, Quest Omni down below. Because uh, I find it interesting. Really weird, but interesting. But either way, links down below in the description. We're going to wrap this video up with a couple words at the end. Talk about it. But anyways, this was interesting. All right. After wrapping up the reaction solve for those series. Like, I'll say like this, this day definitely had less critiques than the last time. <laughs> But you know, there there were a lot of there were a lot more mini critiques instead of this like one massive critique that I had previously. Um, I feel like all of them are decent, like are, are really good. Like they they could be really they could be really 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 great. As of right now, I feel like they all could just use a little more like oomph, you know, like 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 I, I feel like I feel like most of them aren't doing like you know enough for me specifically not that you know they're not doing anything for anybody else but i just feel like you know i came away from this with like a bunch of maybes rather than like a, a, a like a, a a cemented yes i'll be reading this for sure right so th that's how i'm feeling about these ones you know not literally like oh this shit is ass or this shit is boring or whatever or you know heavily critiqued it so it kind of like you know sully the experience it's more just like yeah they're all like okay but like like all okay interesting like interesting concepts for all of them just like maybe i'll check it out maybe i won't like it's like that it's a 50 50 coin toss maybe i don't know but I, I did enjoy reading uh, these stories today. They were a lot more, you know, uh, I could, I could, uh, I could like spitball a bunch of wacky shit that I say a lot more than before, uh, or at least the last one, because I feel like it definitely got depressing at the very end after, you know, the, uh, the third series. So yeah, I feel like this one definitely was um, more up my alley in the terms of like, you know, getting just to say some stupid shit in front of a bunch of people so yeah anyways uh let me know what y'all all think about uh the series that were um presented here to y'all today down below in the comment section i'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions and of course make sure to check out everybody that has been showcased on this episode of uh covering of me covering the voice me contest um yeah anyways I got nothing else for y'all. Hope you all have a fantastic day and I'll see you all later.